We like to focus on Bible prophecy each week. That's because the Bible is 30% prophecy, and 500 of those have yet to be fulfilled. They will be. And so reading the Bible, you would expect things in the world to be trending in that direction, and in fact, they are. We've been monitoring uh, advances in artificial intelligence, what they call AI. It's because of a passage in the revelation of Jesus Christ that's quite curious. During the future Great Tribulation, the Antichrist is going to have an associate who we commonly refer to as the false prophet. At one point we read, and I quote, he was granted power to give breath to an image of the beast, and that that image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. The beast is a name in the revelation for the Antichrist. And so there's some kind of a, uh, an image, that's all we're told, uh, that he gives breath to, and it could speak and uh, cause harm to other people. I'm not saying it is, but it sounds like some form of AI, or, or if I had to guess, if, if you asked me today, how, how could this be accomplished with current technology, it sounds like artificial intelligence. Here's a recent development in AI reported by Live Science, uh, just to let you know that scientists are pushing forward in this area in a big way. Uh, I guess they've never seen Terminator, but they're still, you know, I guess they think, no, what could go wrong, right? So uh, this article from Live Science says, have you ever constructed a mental image of a person you've never seen based solely on their voice? This happens to me every now and then because people listen on the internet before they move to Hanford, and then they meet me and they say, you're not at all what I expected. And I take that as a compliment and I let it go. So anyway... <laughs> Artificial intelligence can now do that, generating a digital image of a person's face using only a brief audio clip for reference. Named speech-to-face, the neural network, a computer that thinks in a manner similar to the human brain, was trained by scientists on millions of educational videos from the internet that showed over 100,000 different people talking. From this data set, speech-to-face learned associations between vocal cues and certain physical features in a human face, researchers wrote in a new study. The AI then used an audio clip to model a photorealistic face matching the voice. In a companion article, they noted, advancements in the field of AI haven't always been met with enthusiasm. Famed astrophysicist Stephen Hawking warned on several occasions that a fully developed AI could destroy the human race, and Hollywood sci-fi movies are rife with fierce robots battling humans for control. And so, um, I mean, we laugh about it, and it's kind of comical, but we've talked about this neural network before. This is kind of the platform that they're moving forward with, um, you know, and, and um, guys like, it, it's not crazy Bible prophecy people. It's people like Dr. Stephen Hawking who are saying, we need to be really, really careful with this because AI could overcome the human race. Now, we know that's not going to happen because we can read what happens at the end, but what I'm saying is when you read Revelation and you get to this portion in uh, chapter 13 and you think, how could an image have intelligence and do these things? Oh, I know. It could have artificial intelligence and we're moving in that. So you would expect uh, that from reading the Bible and that's what we find. Now, as I tell you each week, Jesus promised he'd return to rapture his church. That entails the resurrection of the dead of the church age and then the rapture of all living believers. He said he'd catch us up to heaven where we'd be safe and kept from the hour of trouble that's coming on the world, the great tribulation. Uh, it's presented in the Bible, the rapture, as an imminent, any moment event. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready, stay ready, keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming. 